hello traders it's samurai trader here welcome to this video day trading the currency futures markets not a day goes past that I don't receive an email or a call from a member that asks me about the major differences or the differences between trading currency futures markets and the spot FX market itself so I just wanted to run through a couple of differences we'll also look at some charts and some setups and a couple of recommendations on perhaps the best way to trade the currency futures markets now as we get underway as always we do need to put up the understanding the risk disclaimer if you haven't read one of my disclaimers for a period of time please pause the video and read the disclaimer there is of course a risk in trading also if you haven't subscribed to my channel or if perhaps you've just uh, googled or gone on YouTube looking for a video on currency futures trading uh, please subscribe to my channel and you'll be kept up to uh, date I've got over 300 public videos uh, available now and well over 300 training videos for members so there's quite a few so you can subscribe to receive the video ones also please visit my website and request my free day trading ebook the truth about day trading let me get this right and I should have mentioned traders as always with my videos they're always raw real and unedited I don't run to a script so you'll have to forgive me if I fluff up anywhere and of course I've got another free training manual that you can go to my website and obtain even uh, more importantly why not become a member for $197 you get everything there is no upsell except for my live training room which is only $97 a month three hours a day four days a week 8 a.m. Eastern Standard to, to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard where I teach traders how to trade my setups in a live market so let's get into this so let's get straight to it uh, here we go so first of all uh, a couple of things I want to point out on my website so this is uh, not only for the general public but for members I need to show my members a couple of things which are very very important here first of all I do have a cheat sheet and this is part of it now you'll see here on the cheat sheet we've got there the where is it here the currencies now there are some changes for an example the euro FX there on the cheat sheet that I've got and let me show you where it is by the way so just simply go to the uh, the file the folder cheat sheets and you'll see it there so it's in the folder cheat sheets a couple of other things while we're here I must show you I am going to be talking about the rule of two I love the rule of two on range charts particularly on the Forex markets and you will find a downloadable copy of the PowerPoint on the rule of two and this is just taking a little time to load here uh, on their very comprehensive when it is taking its time here we are uh, PowerPoint on trading the rule of two so this is very very important for members that you go to that folder which is strategy PowerPoints and I think we have one more I want to refer to uh, uh, and that is uh, where is it here new member downloads now in new member downloads I've uploaded a new video a new set of videos I should say or a copy of recordings so this is kindly uh, a lot of work was put into this by one of our members and what they did was they went through all of my videos and uh, as I mentioned is well over 300 and if you look at that master list which you can download there's a master of all the videos but then the ones with strategies general YouTube's webinars live trading day trading Q&A CL in QES YM and Forex so you'll find now all of my videos and as you know there's hundreds of them now in a easy reference spreadsheet and sorry there is one more thing I did have to refer to and that is there is under where is it which file is it in under cheat sheets here we are trading strategies here we are under the section trading strategies now for new members specifically you should be coming to this for uh, all the videos here um, uh, sorry if you're not a member please hold we'll be <laughs> into the strategies in a moment there is um, all the links here are available so you can go there but there is also an upload there on the rule of two the video on the rule of two because I'm going to be mentioning the rule of two so there is the video so I just wanted to point that out now back to the general uh, um, uh, slide here okay so on the currencies please note the euro FX and the yen for an example showing 1250 that's now been halved to uh, six dollars uh, 25 per tick so there are some changes so 
all of these here except for the US dollar index are all uh, futures contracts put out and, and managed by the CME and that's uh, very very important as we're going to discuss and let me quickly let's just go back so I don't want to distract you for a moment I just want to point out some major differences so first of all what are the differences so if you look at the uh, the spot FX market the liquidity of that is over five trillion a day where the combined futures markets is less than 30 billion dollars a day uh, if we look at the Forex market it's a 24 hour a day five day a week market where the futures contracts market for futures contracts um, as managed by the CME it's a 23.5 hour day another big thing here and is that the most brokers will tell you that they don't have a commission that is they don't charge a commission instead they take a best bidder off um, best offer bid and best offer from their interbank counterparts then they add a couple of pips however that's where it's really important you understand this is that when you're trading futures contracts basically across the board now you're paying well under five dollars in commissions and down as low as about three dollars fifty round turn where if you're trading a standard lot and a standard lot for most standard lots uh, it's around say ten dollars a tick uh, uh, and your commissions are going to be anywhere or the spreads going to be anywhere between two and three ticks now that is twenty to thirty dollars and in a lot of work we've done what we've shown is that on average you're paying 16% if you're a scalper 16% of your revenues are going in commissions where it's less than 4% if you're a scalper on standard trading futures contracts so there's a massive difference that you need to look at but there's also some disadvantages for an example uh, internationally you can gain up to leverage up to around 200 to 1 but there's of course a maximum rule of 2% risk which we'll look at the slide in a moment you also if you're trading Forex you can start off with under a thousand dollars whereas we're about to see if you're trading a futures contract you really need to have three and a half to four thousand dollars so there's no denying it trading futures currency futures is more expensive especially uh, well really only in the terms of initial capital required but there's another major point here and this is getting better but there is a major point that is what we call market integrity the CME is regulated by the US government and the CTF uh, sorry the CFTC so the integrity and openness uh, openness are critical elements of the CME markets we've seen massive issues with brokers running stops uh, um, you know all sorts of skullduggery and things happening now it's becoming more transparent the regulators have been coming down uh, on the Forex brokers we've seen of course that FXCM recently lost their license for uh, dealing in the US market the US market and the Australian market are two of the most regulated and even the UK is really catching up now the most regulated markets in the world so it's really important that you open your accounts with brokers really in the UK the USA or down under with ASIC regulated brokers that is very very important so it's just some major differences I really wanted to put up now you also really want to be dealing with a broker that's a pure ECN straight through processing that is very very important because if you're dealing with a broker with straight through processing then of course it's a non dealing desk broker or at least if you're dealing with a standard lot so this is very very important uh, I really should bring this up and let me show you this straight away so what I want to show you here is and a lot of uh, traders are unaware of how this actually works if you're dealing with a Forex broker they have what they call the a book and the B book now the e book, uh, sorry the B book is for all the traders that are dealing with either micro or uh, mini lots because they can't put them through to the banks or to through to a prime broker and the reason being if because you're looking at 10 cents and a dollar a pip they've got to go through in blocks so what the or what most brokers will do they will manage and take the risk of all of their clients that are trading mini and micro lots why because the majority lose their money that's quite frankly why so they run this B book so if you're trading standard lots so with a standard lot they will then 
put it through to a prime broker broker straight through to end civil liquidity providers but that's very very important that you understand that because it comes down to openness and fairness because when you're dealing with uh, a CME uh, dealing with the CME you're dealing with straight through processing you're dealing straight with uh, the broker itself there's they, they can't run stops etc it's the most it really truly is the most fairest market in the world so I know I might have gone on a little bit about that but it's just very very important that you fully understand that so back to this so before we look at the charts a few important things here is that if we look at liquidity wise and today is Monday the 21st of August 2017 so let's just go back to last Friday so Friday itself we saw the volume on the euro currency futures contracts 163,000 in the 23 and a half hours on the yen there was 213,000 contracts now as a comparison to say the ES it was 2 million 181 thousand contracts traded the NQ 442,000 gold 379,000 and CL uh, the black gold 719,000 so it's right at the lower end however 163 to 213,000 contracts is still a healthy range okay and if you're trading one to ten lots you you, you you might get one or two tick slippage or pips whatever you want to call it when you're trading the currency futures but it's minimal and so it's a great market now also if you're say based um, in, in um, the let's just say New York the market opens Sunday evening and you get home from work say it's 7 p.m. 8 p.m. you're able to do some trading of an evening because that's the peak time that you're going to see a lot of these markets trading so say if you're on the West Coast you get home from work at 5 p.m. you can be day trading when you get home so this is, there's some really good advantages for consideration of these markets besides that as we're about to see you get some fantastic trends so they trend really well so on uh, trade station the ticket code is EC uh, and uh, for the euro the yen is JY on the let's see what is it ninja trader sorry 6e and 6j now let's talk about account sizes and this is where dealing direct with the spot market has a major advantage over currency futures because you really need to have at least three and a half thousand dollars to stay within the two percent maximum rule because let's look at it this way so if you're trading a four range which we'll look at in a moment and you've got a 10 tick tick stop that's sixty two dollars fifty put on let's just say five dollars commission say you get a tick slippage your risk is seventy dollars so two percent uh, of that you need require a two uh, sorry a three and a half thousand dollar account this is very very important and, and trade has been undercapitalized and I have thousands of members around the world now that I deal with uh, is that it, it's one of the most common mistakes it's very very important so what if you only have a thousand dollars start with Forex and build your account then move to futures uh, because the commissions are much much lower it is a fairer market and it's a whole lot of other reasons so get in with maybe a thousand with 500 and yes you're not going to make much money only making 20 40 50 pips a day however it's a great learning experience for you a great spot to actually um, start with so what sort of chart types do I like in trading the currency futures well of course you've got time based charts well hands down you want to go for tick or range hands down um, and I won't go into why in this video but really tick and range is we're going to look at both in a moment you got Renko you got uh, you know lots of other types of charts but I really like the tick and range now what about stops on a four range and I love the four range uh, on the, the euro futures and also on the yen and my target is a minimum of 12 plus ticks okay so you're looking at 6250 on average now I've already mentioned here the cheat sheet where you can look up the different types of currency contracts that are offered by the CME and so a couple of these is slightly outdated as I mentioned they roll over every quarter so anyway members you can go to the downloads oh sorry the cheat sheets and you'll be able to download this and it's a lot more extensive there's more that uh, that are on this sheet than what I've just uh, shown you here I've already explained um, a couple of major issues there are a couple of things on the Forex 
uh, what else have we got here okay now we're about to look at the charts and the, just one point I really wanted to make here we need to know if the bulls or bears are in control and we do this with our EMAs now for the newer traders watching my video yes we will use indicators indicators are tools of course indicators virtually every indicator is a derivative of price which means they're lagging now you can trade pure price action for an example if you're trading what we call the two to a t25 which is a two to five candle retracement the old floor trader strategy that is pure price action you don't have to refer to the indicators that you'll see at the bottom of my chart but they can be very useful with some of our strategies now what is critical to me the absolute critical ones are our EMAs because that's going to tell us whether the bulls or bears are in control uh, or whether they're all in neutral and what direction we should be trading in. so let's now go and have a look at the charts so I'm going to give you a couple of options here and a couple of uh, a couple of things for you to really uh, think about now I really should have mentioned to uh, really have a notebook handy because some of the important things I'm about to cover you might like to actually jot down now first of all it is 5 52 p.m. Uh, in my part of the world now so the market opened up uh, what time was it this morning I think it was uh, 9 a.m. Australian time so it's um, now 5 52 as I mentioned p.m. so if we look uh, there's a slight gap down now what we're looking at here sorry is an 89 tick this is the yen we're looking at this is the yen. so we're looking at an 89 tick now if we look at then the price section across the day there's been lots of great trends and this is what we're really after as traders uh, I'm I'm a momentum trader I want to see a trading range now of course I'll refer to my anchor chart to confirm this but this is what we call the sweet spot trading this is where you make all your day's profits just in one of these moves now just as a general guide by the way just under 40,000 contracts have traded since this morning so there's been plenty of volume for a 1 to 10 contract trader plenty of volume during that time and so what we've seen with the 89 tick we've seen a t33 we've seen some nice divergence trades we've seen an 89b you've seen a nice t7 a nice double bottom a classic double bottom with divergence you've got um, uh, let's see 200 bounds now this is the area you want to stay out of and just uh, for for, for non-members these are the areas that we really want to be cautious of when we see all of our EMAs converging we want to stay out of these areas and wait for a breakout now one of the ways we can do that of course is looking for a fractal break whoops it's not plotting now I won't worry about that right now so we're looking generally for a fractal breakout and there are lots of uh, there's lots of training on that we've got here our classic 34b 34b classic divergence trading again nice uh, uh, t3 so just lots of great trading opportunities during this time and just for the trend traders and until you're consistently profitable stick with trading with the trend there's just plenty of trades now what I do want to show you now is the range chart so this is the open so we are looking at a four range here I really like the four range charts particularly during faster moving markets so we can see here it's been very slow in comparison to the 89 now if it's too slow and you want a smoother chart drop it down to maybe a two or three range chart but four is sort of optimum I tend to find but what I do love traders and this is specifically for members is rule of two on range charts here is you've got a rule of two here you've got a rule of two well we're in congestion actually here so we probably wouldn't have taken that but here you've got a rule of two you've got a rule of two you've got a rule of two again you had a rule of two at the open so there's lots of really good rule of two so remember there's a recording there there's a very comprehensive uh, PowerPoint and I've done a lot of training for members on the rule of two so this is our full range and it works really well now this is during the globe session. now during the main market hours you can see here it trends or these markets trend really well so once again this is a full range so these are just some great moves even though you don't have massive liquidity there's plenty for the 1 to 10 contract traders let's now go and have a look at the euro so what we're looking at here with the euro and let me just change this one uh, I'll, I'll change it in a moment so this is the market open once again here so there hasn't been a lot of uh, price action on the full range thus far we'll 
really see this pick up as we head in towards a London session which is in another five minutes we'll start to see the liquidity pick up as a London market opens but during the normal London and New York hours there's plenty of volume um, this is what we really want there are a couple of things that I'm really looking at in a really to prove a market up every market has its own personality and this is where it's very very important that you spend the time is just don't go by what I recommend but have a look at the market yourself because every market's got its own personality and you need to make sure the market suits your personality so first of all you know is that market tradable you want a market that's not too wild some of the uh, pairs uh, the Forex pairs can really move and go crazy so you just want to look at the different markets so it suits your personality do you have a healthy daily volume well of course on the yen and the euro here with the currency futures you've got plenty of volume uh, do they trend really well absolutely you've got some great trends basically every day and the next thing is do my patterns appear or do your setups I'm a pattern trader traders uh, I'm mainly uh, I'm a momentum trader yes I'll take CT trades counter trend trades with trend trades but they're all pattern based and basically that makes my trading 99 or actually that's not true 95% uh, mechanical there's still some things such as are we in a congestion zone and things like that you do need to consider that comes down to discretion or the skill set of a trader but they're all skills that you can learn but let's quickly now look at uh, this is a seven range that I use for my anchor but let's just go and have a look at a tick now the chart I like on the euro currency I like an 89 tick so if we go and have a look at the 89 tick ignore these um well you can see there very well just, let me just put my super scalper on there uh, race super scalper which is just another indicator we have all right so we can see here since the, the market opened up let's just go to the market open today all right congestion you had a few scalps there but you can see here that what you had was what a descending triangle very very so you know with the descending tri triangle you get uh, the, the really the it's coiling the pressures building you're going to get a breakout we actually had one to the long side there then you had a lower high you've got then your 89 you got your 89 uh, you then had your 34 let me just pull this over for you you had day 34 sorry an 89 34 or 34 or 34 you had an 89 so basically just with your trend trades you would have actually if you're targeting two to three hundred dollars per contract you would have wrapped your trading up just in this trend today so so for those that are early rises in the US or those that are early rises particularly uh, in the UK and the European market these offer some great moves some really good moves and I feel they're a lot better it's a lot better than trading the standard Forex market and uh, what we'll see now as the London session opens we'll really start to see the liquidity pick up uh, we'll run as I mentioned uh, now actually the it's been 28,000 contracts trade today so we'll really start to see some a lot more market moves and as we head in to uh, 8 a.m. onwards which is New York which is uh, what's at uh, six that's another four hours from now 10 p.m. my time when I actually open up the training room we'll really see the volume pick up there so traders it's just giving you a very quick rundown so it's a fantastic market there's great liquidity uh, if you're looking at the rule of two uh, really you can't go wrong with the euro dollar and the yen it's just um, really good market so last of all as we sign off if you're not a member or if you haven't subscribed to my channel first of all please do go to my website request my ebooks for $197 you get all of my cheat sheets hundreds of videos uh, really I won't go into all the benefits of a member but it's once owned the only upsell if you choose is to join my training room which is only $97 a month 12 hours of live training a week uh, incredible value so traders thank you very much for your time and I hope you picked up a few ideas